Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Emily and I'm so glad to see you today. We are going to read a story, take a look at a work of art, and experiment with some art materials together. Are you ready? Okay. Well, we are going to begin with our Storytime song, just like we do when we're together in the museum. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. You can sing or just clap along with me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Welcome, friends. Get ready, get set for story time with the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Very nice job, friends. Well, today we are reading a story about the environment. It's called Kate, Who Tames the Wind. It's written by Liz Garton Scanlon, and the illustrations are by Lee White. Take a look inside. I'm going to read the words, and I need your help looking at the pictures. Kate, who tamed the wind. Once there was a man living all alone in a creepy house on the tip top of a steep hill. The man lived all alone in a creepy house on the tip top of a steep hill where a soft wind blew. The man lived all alone in the creaky house where the curtain swung and the chime spun as a soft wind blew and blew. And blew. The wind blew until the shutters banged in the creaky house on the tip top of the steep hill. The wind blew, the shutters banged, and the boards bent. The wind blew, the shutters banged, the boards bent, the table tipped, and the tea spilled. The tea spilled, and the bread broke on the tippy table in the creaky house at the tip top of the steep hill. And still, the wind blew. The wind blew, and off the birds flew. Oh, and look. His hat is flying away, too. The birds flew, and the duck did, too, and the man cried, what to do? What to do? The wind whipped his words from the tip top of the steep hill to the itty-bitty town at the bottom, where a little girl called Kate heard the cry and felt it, too. She wondered what on earth to do. Trying to solve a problem. Kate could not stop the wind, she knew. But she could wheel a load of new trees to the tip top of the dusty hill in her wagon. There she goes. There, Kate dug deep holes and watered muddy mounds until the trees grew. As the trees grew, the wind blew. The trees grew, the wind blew, and the time flew. The time flew as the trees grew and grew. How are the trees changing? And Kate did, too. The trees grew till the leaves fluttered and the shutters stilled and the boards bounced back. The leaves fluttered, the shutters stilled, the boards bounced back, and 
and the dust died down, the dust died down, the teeth peep and the birds peep. The birds peep and the old man poured sweet tea and said, for you, near the quiet house on the tip top of the green hill. How the hill has changed, where a bright breeze blew. Very nice listening, friends. How did the trees help calm the wind? What happened in the story? How did trees help the world around us? reminds me of a great painting at the Met by the artist Vincent Van Gogh. It's called Cypresses. Take a look. What do you see? As we look at this vertical painting that goes up and down, look from the top to the bottom of the painting. I see tall, sturdy cypress trees in the foreground or the front of this landscape. A landscape is a work of art that shows us the natural world around us. Look at the cypress trees. Now look at the background of the painting. What do you see there? I see rolling hills and twirling clouds. And Van Gogh used the lines or the strokes of his paintbrush and his paint to show movement in this landscape, just like the wind was moving so much in the story that we just read. Can you take your fingers or your hands or your whole body and move like some of the lines that you see? Do you see straight lines, rigid lines? I don't know. I see lots of curvy lines. I see lines that go up the tree and bend, and all those curly lines in the sky, and the curve of the little crescent moon that we see at the top. Nice moving and nice noticing lines, friends. Now, let's make some lines inspired by the movement of the wind and the movement of Van Gogh's are you ready? Okay. So, I use cray pot, oil pastel, to make my work of art and to experiment with lines. But you could also use a marker, some paint, art sticks or crayons. Whatever you have at home is fine. And I experimented making different kinds of lines that move in many different ways. You can make yours any way you want. What kinds of lines do you see that I make? Hmm. Can you spy vertical lines, like our painting, that go up and down? See some vertical lines here, up and down. Do you see straight horizontal lines that go side to side? Do you see some horizontal lines here? Long one, medium one, short one. How about curved lines, like a circle? And maybe some zigzag lines. I didn't see zigzag lines in Van Gogh's painting. No, they more moved, nice and smooth and round. So, you can make any different kinds of lines that you would like. Let's see if we can make some together real quick. Would you like to try? Okay, I'll make them right on top here. Let's see, I want to make some more curvy lines. I really like the wind and the paint that curves. So when I make my line, I'm going to move my whole arm. My whole arm. Let's make a curvy line. It can go on top of the other one too. Hmm, I'd like to make it thicker and then it's going to change because my wind is moving. You can make your
their minds move and dance any way they feel like it. I would love to see the kinds of lines that you make. You can send them back to us at the Met, at Met Museum, and use the hashtag MetKidsCreate. I'd love to see what you make. Well, thank you, friends, for joining us today for Storytime with the Met. We hope to see you again soon. Bye.